What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Mixtape Moff, and today, I'm gonna hit y'all with a review of the new God Fahim album entitled Six Ring Champ. Make sure you smash the like button and please subscribe. Let's get to it. So, the God Fahim, aka the Dump God, is a rapper and producer coming out of Atlanta. Now, the man has an impressive work ethic and extensive catalog you can pretty much count on him to drop a minimum of three projects a year he just seems to approach his projects with a seriousness and zen like focus but you can always expect to find some type of motivation within his rap this new one six ring champ comes fresh off the heels of his wolf on wall street 2 ep with his partner in rhyme your old droog and last year for him it dropped two dope eps produced entirely by Nicholas Craven. But Six Ring Champ contains 12 tracks and lasts approximately 31 minutes. The only feature is Your Old Droog and Nicholas Craven produces four songs. I believe the rest were produced by Fahim himself, but I could be wrong. Uh, but with that being said, let me go ahead and just hit y'all with this track by track breakdown. The opener, Titanism, has a cinematic beat with horns for some reason. I was envisioning a scene from a mafia movie with bosses at the table that was just the vibe that I was getting from this instrumental. On here, Fahim is trading bars with your old Droog. It's a solid first track with a nice blend of jewel dropping and clever braggadocia. Track two, Iron Mike, has this murky and mid-tempo boom bat beat that feels like it could have been made in a damp and dingy basement in the 90s. Fahim is flexing his skill set and giving us some boastful talk. I like when he said, you hit me for the verse and with the hook, I'm like Tyson. Altogether, it was a cool track. The only thing I didn't really care for was the overused line about my cheese like nachos, nachos. I mean, come on, that was a pretty rudimentary line. Now, the following for Matic is built around a vintage soul loop from Nicholas Craven, it's a bright and energetic soul backdrop. That's one of the standouts. Here, the God Fahim displays his hunger with bars like, my hit drop, then I defecate all over hip hop. Looks like I'm going to be writing these raps until my wrist lock. I like this one because of the urgency of his rhymes and the attractive soul beat from Craven. And Nicholas Craven laces him with more fire on the next track, Love and Hate, which contains an impressive high-pitched soul beat that felt a little Dipset-esque. Fahim dropped some thoughtful jewels like, Never underestimated the will to win. Protect your chin and cover up. It takes real discipline and patience for the double up. He feels that he has been hustling for so long that he has the blueprint to success. However, despite the love that gets shown, you always have to expect the hate. That just comes with the territory. But this also had one of my favorite instrumentals on the project. Right after is Job Well Done with Droog. The two drop more motivational gems over this lush and vintage sample. Now this fly beat was giving me strong earth, wind, and fire vibes or something real smooth from that 70s era. It was very Mackish, very player. Fahim states, all the hard work they never noticed. They just see me turning up, but the buildup was so imposing. So he's letting us know that his success didn't happen overnight and it didn't come without the toil and the grueling grind. The way Fahim describes his dedication to the grind is somewhat similar to the late great Nipsey Hussle. Then your old Drew reflects on his own come up as well, but he also pays homage to Big Pun with the line, Pulling out the big guns, your whole camp gets splattered. Word to big pun, this dream can't be shattered. Love the pun shout out. I feel he doesn't get enough in hip hop songs. While I thought the God Fahim had a solid verse, it was your old Drew who was the clear MVP of this one. On the subsequent track, Countless Days, Endless Nights, Fahim reminds us more about his lonely road to the top. He has some words that you can relate to if you feel you're stuck in the grind. He states, you might be the only one on the court when you practicing. 
countless nights and endless days, not too much relaxing. And he's almost like a rapping life coach. I feel that God Fahim has a real knack for motivating folks. Track 761 in a game is set to a moody horn loop and dusty drum. So while I liked his braggadocia, I don't have this one as a highlight. It's not that it's bad. It's just not one that I would revisit and mainly because I found the production to be a bit monotonous. Whereas track eight, Checkers has this up-tempo jazzy instrumental. It's boom bat with bright horns. This one finds Drew and Fahim at their most energetic on the project in terms of their flow and delivery. I like this record for not only the lively production, but also how the duo flex their hunger while going in. Afterwards, we get OWJ, which stands for Off-White Jordans. It has a slick and elegant jazz loop courtesy of Nicholas Craven. The overall vibe to this beat is very suave and fly. Now, it's only one verse and a hook, so I wish it was a little more developed, but I do have this as one of the highlights because the production was so on point. Track 10, Stay Down Till You Come Up is another Perseverance anthem, although strangely, it is set to a gloomier beat. Regardless, I liked his uplifting lyricism and the fun fact he gave us that Jeezy Thug Motivation was one of his favorite CDs while coming up. I know that Thug Motivation CD was very impactful to me as well, uh, without going into any detail, but you get my drift. The second to last track, Driving Me Crazy, is produced by Nicholas Craven. It has a spectacular soul sample that is easily my favorite beat. And there's something about this loop that touches my soul. On this one, Fahim does some introspection, speaking on taking losses and dealing with death. There's another shout out to Big Pun. Still bumping, pock and pun, riding with the biscuit. I can't trust the soul, so why would I even risk it? Took so many losses, had to find wins within them. Now that's deep. Then the album comes to a close with the last shot. The beat almost sounds like an alternative to the opening song, except the horn loop is slower and hazier. And Fahim wraps this up with some more reflective and inspirational lyrics. I'd say this was a solid way to close things out. Overall, I give this project a rating of three and a half mics to a strong three and a half mics. It's another dope and consistent body of work that is on par with his last several releases in terms of the quality of production and lyricism. The beats provided by Nicholas Craven were so good that I found myself mostly wanting to just replay them, uh, even though I did like the bulk of the album, if that made any sense. Sure, the production outside of Craven was dope, but there's something about the chemistry that those two possess that made me wish that he had produced the whole thing. Still, it's a strong project that demonstrates the God Fahim's continued hunger, dedication, and commitment to the grind. My favorite tracks include Formatic, Love and Hate, Job Well Done, Checkers, Off White -like Jordans, and Driving Me Crazy. Let me know what you thought about this project in the comment section. It's your boy Mixtape Moth. I'm signing out, but be sure to hit that like button and please subscribe. As always, it's peace and blessings. The God Fahim Six Ring Champ One.